Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel Hotel Management System Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in the previous tutorial, we let the admin update the room data. So right now in this tutorial, what we are going to do is that uh, whatever room data we have over here, we are going to display those data in the front end. Front end means we are going to display those data. Let me just log out from here. We are going to display those data, room data over here. Here you can see we have the room section. So here we are going to display those room data. So for it, first of all, what we need to do is that we need to go to our project where we are displaying this font end view. So for it, let me just go to my sublime text and here we are going to go to resource views and uh, here you can see the home folder and inside home folder, you can see index.blade.php and inside this index.blade.php, we have the header, slider, about, room section, gallery section, everything. So basically, uh, whatever I'm seeing in the home view, everything is coming from the index.blade.php as I just showed you in the previous tutorial. So everything you are seeing over here is coming from this index.blade.php and uh, we are returning this view from a controller. So let me just show you the controller again. So we'll go to app, then HTTP controller and admin controller and if you now just go down here you can see public function all and we are returning the view return view home dot index and also for the log bill user we are also returning the same view return view home dot index so first of all we are going to write the code for this public function home without the authentication so just make sure that uh, you are logged out from here at the beginning okay so let me just go back and uh, over here you can see home dot index so in order to show the room data we need to get the room data over here in this function so for it first of all let's get the top and uh, here i already mentioned the room model name over here so right now all you need to do is that inside this public function hole we need to declare a variable let's say it will be dollar data or this time let's say different thing let's say dollar room equal to and here we're going to set the table model name which is room we keep to our clone and we'll say here all so it will get all the room data and then it will store the room data in this dollar room variable and after it here return view we need to give a comma over here then we need to say here compact and inside this compact we need to say room and this room is this all so we are sending all the room data to this view home dot index so let me just set it here and let's go to our home then index.blade.php over here so right now let me just go down and here you can see index.blade.php has included home dot room which is uh, inside the home folder and uh, here you can see room.blade.php so we'll go inside room.blade.php and here you can see all the rooms but we do not need all of those room images we will keep just only on image the title and the description and we'll remove other images from here so let's go back to our code and right now so here you can see deep class and uh, some other class over here so this is our room this is just a title that we are uh, seeing over here so let me just go in little bit down and uh, here you can see deep class row so the image started from this row and uh, this is on image the room title and description so we will only just keep on image title and description and we'll remove every other room data so those are static so i will start from here class column d4 column d column m6 so i'll just remove everything not everything uh, i'll remove up until here okay so right now let me just write it like this you can see it clearly and this row div ended over here okay so everything is fine so let's save it then let's refresh here and there you can see we have only on room data so right now we need to show the data from the database table so for it uh, here we are already sending the room data from here so we'll be able to cache the room data over here so we'll show the image later so first of all since we have a lot of room so we need to mention at the end of for each loop we we'll say here for each dollar room as dollar room and we need to in this for each loop 
over here okay not here the for each loop will start after the row class it will start over here and it will end over here at the end of end for each so right now uh, let me just show you the database table in the database table uh, room room table we have only three data or three rooms and we mentioned the for each loop over here so since we have three rooms so so this div should repeat for three times since we have three rooms and uh, we have this inside the for each loop that's why so right now if we just refresh here there you can see the same thing repeated three times because we have three data in the room table so let's go back and here this time we will get the room title here first so we'll give to second bracket then we we'll say here dollar rooms why rooms here you can see we write over here dollar room as dollar rooms so we will give a arrow sign here and we we'll say here room underscore title uh, let me just check the database table what i write yes it was room underscore title and after it this will be the description so we'll say here to second bracket then dollar rooms this arrow sign will say description save it then right now if we just refresh there you can see it is showing us the room title different for each one of them and we have the room description so right now let's also change the image according to our database so let's go back and here you can see image source so we remove this static image so we'll give a uh, first we need to mention the folder name where we store the image so here in the public folder we store our image in this room folder so first of all we need to mention the room folder name then we'll give slash then to second bracket and here we are going to set room rooms this arrow sign it will be image so right now if we save it then if we now refresh so we got a error undefined constant rooms and the reason is we forget the dollar sign so i will give the dollar sign here dollar rooms save it again let's just refresh and this time we didn't got any error and here you can see for each room data we have different images right now so right now let's go and fix the image height and width and here inside the image we are going to say here style we we'll say here height it will be let's say 200 px and let's also mention the width uh, it will be let's say uh, 320 px save then let's refresh here and there you can see okay let's just make the width to be 350 px that will be better and there you can see it is perfect so let's do just one more thing and that is some of you may have a long description so it will mess up with the css design so for it how to do is we will limit the number of character over here so let's go back to our code again and here for the description we'll just write it a little different so let me just remove this and we'll only keep two second bracket like this and we'll give for not sign and here we're going to say str str will be capital then to clone and we'll say limit to first bracket and then we'll say here dollar rooms and we'll say the limit number of character will be 100 so let's save it again and let's refresh and there you can see the number of character over here changed so we are able to successfully show the room image the room title and description over here properly and that is for the user who is not logged in so right now let's say a user will log in so will a logged in user will be able to see the room image the answer is no because here uh, in the admin controller after a user is logged in we are also sending the user to the same view but here we did not mention the room data and we also did not send the room data for the logged in user so we will get an error but let me just show you the error so right now if i just try to log in and let's say here user at the end of gmail.com let me give the password and right now click login it will give us an error that undefined variable room 
because we do not have any room variable over here that we are sending to this view home.index so for it auto into is that uh, let me just copy this from here Control c and we'll just paste it over here and here we're going to give a comma and we say here compact to first bracket to single quotation room just like before and uh, make sure that you declare the same variable because we are basically returning to the same view so we need to declare the same variable so if you now save it and for the logged in user if you now refresh there gets it for the logged in user this time it didn't give us any error and we are able to see the room images properly so this is all for this tutorial we are able to successfully show the room image room title and description properly so in the next tutorial we have a button over here called read more and once the user click on that button it will take the user to another test and where they will be able to read the full description and they will be able to uh, see the price free wi-fi or not everything and in that test we'll have a booking option so that user can book the hotel room so this is all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials